what's up i'm going to show you guys how to idle steam hours so you can be cool like me and have thousands of hours in your games as you can see ignore those you didn't say that i'm not a creep anyway go to your browser go to this link i'll have it in the description below under download you'll see direct download zip archive click that as you can see i failed this video many many times once it is finished downloading click it you close out your browser drag this somewhere i'm going to put it on my desktop close that double click the folder you're going to see all these items inside right click go down to new go down to text document name it whatever you like i'm going to name it idle so it's going to be idle.txt double click to open that and here you're going to type start space steam hyphen idle.exe space then you're going to go to your steam find whatever games you want to download uh, idle click them on your library or just go to the store and search them store page of the game and then top left you're going to see a link storesteampower.com forward slash app forward slash then the app id which is for counter strike 2730 so you're going to go back to your text document and then you're going to type out 730 beside it and then you can go ahead and just copy this and paste it up to 30 times you can idle 30 games or applications at a time which is i think uh 10,080 hours every two weeks i totally did that math in my head it's probably wrong anyway so find another game battle bit remastered for example store page top left storesteampower.com app and then the app id 671860 for battle bit remastered so type that out here 671860 and then you can do this up to 30 times just make sure start steamidle.exe space and then the app id of whatever game or application you're going to use i'll do another one say crosshair x for example store page top left the app id is 1366800 put that here 1366800 i'm going to remove this because i'm not doing this up to 30 times because it's going to take forever then you're going to go to file after you have all the games that you want save as you're simply just going to remove the txt and put bat instead save once that's finished you can close out of this go back to the folder that you extracted double click and you'll see the batch file right here idle.bat or whatever you named it bat to run the games you simply double click that now before you do that i would go to your friends and chat Go up beside your name, click that little drop down menu, and then set yourself to invisible or offline because if your friends have notifications for, for when a friend joins the game, it's going to spam them how many ever times, how many ever games you have, and they're probably going to get blocked or removed, or both. So yeah, go back to that, show you for example, double click, you'll get these little windows pop up. As you can see, Counter-Strike, Battle Bay Remastered, and Crosshair X. Now. It's not actually running the games, so you don't have to worry about all the resources being used and it killing your computer. It just tells Steam that it's running the game, and I'll show you that now. Tax Manager, and as you can see, I will have three of these windows open right now using practically zero uh, resources. So yeah, it is simple as that easy peasy lemon squeezy. My cheeks are breezy. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you dislike it, leave a thumbs down. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Peace.